Hi, welcome to Paul's Evening for Prayer. Pastor Lori here, pastor of the Fairton and Newport United Methodist Churches. I'm glad you decided to take a moment and pause and pray with me. If you have any prayer requests, please uh, add them to the comments or message me. Now we got that out of the way, let's start with our devotion. I'm using Jesus Calling. It's called Accept Each Day. Accept each day exactly as it comes to you. By that, I mean not only the circumstances of your day, but the condition also of your body. Your assignment is to trust me absolutely, resting in my sovereignty and my faithfulness. On some days, your circumstances and your physical condition will feel out of balance. The demands on you will seem far greater than your strength. Days like that present a choice between two alternatives giving up or relying on me. Even if you wrongly choose the first, I will not reject you. You can turn to me at any point and I will help you crawl out of the mire of discouragement. I will infuse my strength into your moment, into you moment by moment, giving you all that you need for this day. Trust me by relying on my empowering presence. And the scripture is, uh, first one, Psalm 42, 5. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why are you disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior. And Corinthians 13, 4. Second Corinthians 13, 4. For be, to be sure, he was crucified in weakness, yet lives by God's power. Like lies. We are weak in him, yet by God's power we shall live to serve him. And Jeremiah 31, 25. I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. That's definitely good advice. Because sometimes you're going to feel like giving up. And um, when those moments, make sure you reach out to somebody. You have church family or family, friends. And you always can reach out to God. God is always there, and God is always faithful. Our prayer request, uh, we want to lift up, uh, let's see, we have ongoing requests from both churches that we regularly remember. Unspoken requests. Uh, children and teachers, because they're starting this new school year. Uh, we have healing for several people that we regularly remember. Um, we also want to lift up Ray and Angie, who have COVID, Pastor Ghost, who had a stroke, Pastor Frazier, um, who's in the hospital, Jane Hall, who's been retaining fluid, those that are mourning, especially the family of Jen Reeves and this Feinstein family. I also want to lift up uh, Cheryl, who uh, lost her mom and uh, brother-in-law this week, and then we also have... Uh, Wanda Sutton, his eye surgery yesterday. Danny, no, Diane. Can't even read my own writing. Diane has lung cancer, so I'm going to lift her up. Uh, we also want to lift up uh, Wanda from Newport Church, who has surgery next month. I also want to lift up, uh, let's see, Barbara, who's going into assisted living. And Fred Beersman, Beerman, he's a local cricker, and he had been diagnosed with COVID and then had a heart attack. So lift him up for healing. Or they just go to God in prayer and know that God hears your heart. Let's pray. Lord, we want to thank you for uh, the churches that I serve. And we have people that we list every week, and I want to lift them up to you. Uh, I want to lift up uh, Miss Blue, Miss Mary, Mrs. Lanning, Red, Jenny, Bev, Hope, and Connie. From Newport, Louise, Wayne, Pastor Frazier, Chase, Cheryl, Ripper, Charles, Lawrence, Ray, Angie, and Wanda. Lord, these are dear people to our church. I would ask that you would bless them, heal them, and give them your grace and comfort. I want to lift up those with cancer, Sherry fisher Riley, Mike, JC, Jennifer, Nick, Charlie, and Lawrence, and Wanda. I, I pray that you would help them as they encounter each level of uh, treatments 
and that you would heal them body, mind, and spirit. I have lifted up also unspoken requests for those that have, uh, need those lifted up. Lord, heal and comfort those that need it and maybe feel, feel comfortable sharing it. Or maybe you're seeing this online and didn't have a chance to share. I also wanna lift up for healing, Dina and Gail and Beth. We ask your healing touch on them. We lift up baby Jason and ask you to continue to comfort him. For Ray and Angie who have COVID, I thank you that it's a mild case and that you are continuing to heal Ray from his surgery. I pray you continue to heal them and that this is just another bump in the road. I lift up uh, Craig and Jen for comfort. I also wanna lift up Margie Crompton who had uh, surgery, Lord. I ask for continued healing. Pastor Ghost had a stroke, Lord, so I ask for healing and comfort for him. Strength for his body as he starts to go uh, through physical therapy. I lift up Pastor Frazier who's uh, had a run of it lately just comfort him and uh, be with him as he's in the hospital. Give him your, your peace. For Jane Hall, who's having other health issues as well, we lift her up to you and ask for healing. For all those that are mourning, especially for the family of Jen Reeves and the family of Nate Feinstein, I ask for your comfort. I lift up our country to you and I ask you to be with our leadership and especially be with our um, police and firefighters as they go and serve us, keep them safe and give them your wisdom. For Cheryl, who lost uh, a mom and a brother-in-law this week, I ask for comfort. For Barbara, who's going in assisted living or, or is in a, uh, transitioning into that, I ask for comfort and peace and just patience as she uh, navigates this new living situation. I lift up Wanda Sutton, who had an eye surgery. I pray it all went well and that you would bring healing to her and give her wisdom and, and your peace. For Diane, who has lung cancer, I ask for healing and your comfort. I pray for Fred Bierman, who not only has COVID, but had just now had this heart attack. I ask for healing for him and to be with his wife, Doris. She is comforted in this time and that she doesn't get sick. I lift up our children to you and our teachers, administrators, anyone that's involved with schools and colleges that you're, uh, you would be with them in this new school year, that it would be a safe year, that you would have extra sense of patience and grace for these teachers and administrators, and be with the kids that um, are trying to navigate it all as well. I lift up uh, Wanda from uh, our church in Newport. I pray that you would give her patience as she waits for her surgery, but I, I thank you for the good news that she did get this week that uh, the nodule that was in her lungs is not cancer, but I pray for her as she prepares for kidney surgery, that she would just be with her and be with those doctors that they do well by her. I, I'm gonna pray for my churches, Lord. I pray that you would bless them. Help me to get this paperwork done for church conference. <laughs> and uh, I just pray that you would give us your wisdom, give us your uh, inspiration to help reach our community and to just be there for each other. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. You know that. If you don't, I'm telling you again. I love you. And if you ever need anybody to talk to, I'm here. Take care. Be good. And I'll talk to you again soon.